Mahatma Gandhi's wisdom embraced the power of the charka, channeling it towards the promotion of our local resources. His sustainable way of life embodied a deep preference for our Mother Earth. He had a deep insight into reducing our carbon footprints. With the motto of simple living and high thinking, Gandhiji showcased the beauty of living in harmony with nature. utilizing uh, the abundant riches within our local surroundings his teachings continue to inspire us to embrace sustainable practices and cherish the gifts of our planet in the last video we had said that in today's world pleasure is the mother of inventions if you were to choose to build homes for the local community which one of these would you choose you will certainly go for the largest one is it not you assume that you have now become a winner in the society but our sustainability mantra says you are a winner only if you reduce carbon dioxide footprint in a product system there are various contributors to carbon footprint these contributors are the processes which can be named as 1 2 3 etc each of these processes will totally decide the carbon footprints if we take the case of agricultural preparation the contributing processes are land preparation crop cultivation pesticide preparation etc clearing of our forests releases carbon dioxide into the atmosphere as trees store carbon as biomass similarly the production of synthetic fertilizers releases carb- nitrous oxide into our atmosphere the use of fossil fuels in agricultural operations such as machinery and transportation can also release carbon dioxide another example is our paper industry here the process contributions are from timber harvesting pulp production paper manufacturing and then recycling these processes also have carbon dioxide footprints associated with it such as deforestation chemical use water consumption etc so in the tapestry of carbon footprints size can be a very decisive factor the seemingly small ones may cast a large shadow while the la- grand ones may leave a subtle trace in some instances of production the tiniest endeavors may yield very subtle effects while mass production may leave a huge footprint so the choice of processes demands at most caution and very full very mindfulness in our actions in the delicate web of production the smallest decisions can ripple our environment and hence there is a need for very responsible considerations in our planet's well be now i select the pet bottle production system here i can see the general information i press the calculation properties then i'll go to the impact assessment method cmlia baseline so i can use uh, the cmlia baseline method from the different categories and i press the next button so you can see how i choose the cmlia baseline method then i click on the next button and after that uh, the finish button 
so now you can see it is calculating and uh, the contributions of the impact categories are shown here abiotic depletion uh, gives the uh, impact category uh, the impact is on container glass production delivered to the end user and uh, small lorry transport similarly eutrophication also results in several impact categories such as small lorry transport polyethylene terephthalate polyethylene high density gra granulate all these have uh, effects on eutrophication similarly the flow results are also shown here that is emission to air in the form of methane chloro trifluorocarbons uh, that is uh, from container glass lorry transport and drinking water similarly the flow contributions of each and every process such as pet bottle field uh, lorry transport all these can be seen as inputs and outputs and uh, here you can select uh, the process which process that you want you can see the inputs and outputs uh, the contribution which is um, indirect and direct uh, can be seen in kilograms you can also see that some of the flow contributions may not e have any input or output contributions while some others have a large number of contributions so if you uh, check on polypropylene granulate you can see there is direct as well as indirect contributions which are given in appropriate units now you if you select the processes abiotic depletion you can see that which process is giving the maximum amount of impact it is obtained from container glass which is delivered to the end product now how is container glass delivered that is actually from the uh, recycling and reuse of the materials that we have used in plastic production it yields uh, post consumer collects which are named as ctp and this when it is batch prepared and melted in a furnace and conditioned and formed and polished it will result in glass container production so this can also yield a lot of uh, impact on the environment uh, similarly raw materials like silica sand soda ash limestone etc uh, if uh, given uh, to the furnace and conditioned and formed and polished then it can also result in glass container production then uh, so uh, in each of the uh, impact uh, analysis results you can see the process contributions abiotic depletion the process contributions are from small lorry transport container glass polyethylene terephthalate polyethylene uh, pet granulate production mix at uh, different plants similarly eutrophication human toxicity terrestrial ecotoxicity all these have uh, different processes impacts and each of these impact units uh, can be seen at the rightmost ends and which all contributions are harmful can be seen as uh, red marks so that is a harmful contribution um, from the processes and the next uh, category that we are going to see is the sankey diagrams which is um, found from the tap to the uh, right of the uh, right of the picture here we can see that uh, these uh, diagram showcase the flow of materials identifying hot spots and also uh, uh, necessitating the need for prioritizing the areas of improvement so the red uh, flows indicate that these are the hot spots so you can see that pet bottle field uh, then small lorry transport are areas for improvement which has got uh, contribution to the environment direct contributions are shown uh, in the form of percentage so container glass is having 99.886 percentage of contributions to the environment and if you look at the locations where the emissions occur the LCA open LCA is uh, meant for uh, the location Europe so the uh, harmful impact effects are confined to Europe uh, the areas around Europe so you can see emission each and every flow has got uh, contribution to the location also 
similarly the wet bottle production uh, if, if you look at the contributions of each and every process to the environment wet bottle field has got maximum uh, contributions amounting to 5.21 into 10 raised to minus 12 kilograms wet transport is yielding 5.207 into 10 raised to minus uh, 12 kilograms and uh, drinking water amounting to 4.551 so uh, contributions of flows as well as uh, on the uh, uh, impact categories can be seen separately you are watching htech tutorials for more educational content like share and subscribe